Hi, I'm Suzanne Schütz, and this is Cat Sounds Explained by Cat Lady Sweden. And this time we're going to talk about the growl. Now, cats growl in aggressive and or defensive situations mostly. It's a very clear but early warning and of course it has to do with negative mental or emotional states and growling is used as a warning or to scare off other cats or people and uh, it's used in territorial disputes or when the cat is hunting or playing and uh, as you can see on this proximity scale here growling is the first warning sound that cats make at a fairly long distance but as the distance diminishes the sounds that the cats make vary so a bit closer they start to howl or even howl growl in combinations and variations and even closer they start to hiss and or spit which is the more intense variation and when they have physical contact they start to snarl cry pain shriek but for growling the very first sign when the distance is fairly long the accompanying body postures and movements are clearly visible to the other cat or person so it's often quite low body um, like crouching and the tail is usually down but sometimes it's pilo erected bushy and can be moving thumping or lashing and depending on whether the cat is alert and interested while playing for instance or defensive the ears can be either forward or rotated back and there's often eye contact involved as well some facts about growling is that the articulation of the mouth can be either slightly open or closed. So there are two variants of that, but both types are produced during a very long and slow and steady exhalation. And the place of articulation is, as far as I know, still quite unclear. It's probably way back in the throat though. And it's often very long, several seconds. And the voice, the pitch and quality, it is voiced, the vocal folds are vibrating, but it sounds dark, harsh and very, very low pitched. And if I were to describe this using phonetic terms, I would say that it's a very low pitched, regularly vibrating, trill-like sound with harsh or creaky voice quality. It sounds a bit like grrrr. So, as far as I know, there are no clear subtypes of growling, but there is some variation that I've observed. The closed mouth growl has this very harsh or creaky nasal sound, that mm, and the slightly open mouth growl, which is sometimes also called a snarl, also has a harsh and creaky voice quality, but it doesn't sound like the nasal mm, but it's more like a, a back consonant or vowel sound, like Rrr. And we also have the falsetto growl, which might actually also be a variant of a howl with a closed mouth which is much higher in pitch and I'll try to talk a bit more about the variation the closed mouth growl is this mmm which is harsh and creak it sounds a bit like this this was a very short one exceptionally short for a growl this is a longer example <laughs> And in the video I'm going to play now, you can actually see the articulation that that Vimsan's mouth, my cat Vimsan's mouth, is actually closed when she is growling. And I find it amazing that such a small cat can produce such a, a dark, low-pitched, aggressive sound. But as I said, sometimes growling can be part of hunting or playing. And sometimes they try to do a closed mouth growl, but there's actually something in their mouth, like my cat Turbo here, who has a feather he's playing with, and he's growling and also, as you will see, snarling and hissing, and then begins to growl again when his brother Rocky wants to take the feather away from him. So he's playing, growling at Rocky. Snarls at him, hisses, and then growls again. 
And this time he realizes that Rocky doesn't want to leave him alone, so he takes off and takes the feather, his toy, with him. Now we have the slightly open mouth growling, or sometimes called a snarl, which is the more vowel like sound, like Rrr. I have two examples of that here. <laughs> In here it's another sound quality than the closed mouth mm variant it's more vowel like and you can see in this video of turbo that he is actually raising his upper lip here you can see there's a distance as i start the video between the upper and lower lip when he's growling and gray white here who's very very agitated that compis my other cat won't leave her alone you can also hear that she's having an open mouth growl here as she defends herself from his attacks. And you can probably also see the tail uh, lashing. Now the falsetto growl is much higher in pitch and I'm not actually quite sure whether this is a growl or a closed mouth howl. They are quite similar so they may be merged. But this is an example of a falsetto growl right here. Much higher in pitch, as I said. And in this video, uh, my cat Turbo is falsetto growling. And again, Turbo falsetto growling with varying pitch. ends in a normal non-falsetto growl. There are also some growl combinations. The most common one is the howl growl, which begins with a howl and then gradually lowers into a growl and sometimes it turns into a higher howl again and repeats several times. Each time it's a howl it has a rising pitch and becomes louder and then when it lowers into a growl the pitch falls and the loudness decreases. This is an example of my cat Donna inside this cage who is howl growling at my other cat Vimsan when she gets too curious. In the next video Compass to the left is growling at an intruder uh, it may be a high-pitched growl or a low-pitched howl or maybe even a merged growl and howl. Sounds like this. I want to show you some more growl variations. It's not uncommon that cats growl while they're eating if somebody comes too close to their prey, their food. And I want to thank Miwa, my colleague Miwa, who sent me this video and for letting me show you this video. This is uh, two of her cats. One has a piece of chicken, which she defends from her brother, I think. And it sounds like this. <coughs> And in the next video of my two cats, Vim San and Grey White, they're having a fight, an argument, and a howling and screaming duet ends in a lower pitched growl. So listen closely towards the end. There's a slow dropping in loudness and pitch, and it ends in a growl. <laughs> So to sum up, growling is a very clear and early warning signal, meaning don't come any closer, stop what you're doing, leave me alone. And it's typically very harsh or creaky. It's a long sound and very, very dark and low pitched. And it's used both in territorial disputes and also in other defensive situations like during hunting and or playing. And as far as I know, there are no clear subtypes, but there is some variation. You can have growling with closed or open mouth and even in falsetto. And combinations are common as well, especially the one with howling and growling in the same long, long sequence. And even kittens do growl. They learn how to growl fairly early. And in this video, 
a kitten is defending her food bowl from her siblings by growling. I think it's so cute. And again, a video from my colleague Miwa. Thank you again, Miwa, for letting me show this video. This is her cat, Piper, who's the mother of the kittens from the last video. And she growls in a very friendly way, I think, when she needs to take a nap and one of her kids wants to play with her. And she just growls very friendly to tell her kids that, please let me take a nap now, I will play with you later. You can read more about growling in my book, The Secret Language of Cats, which is available in several languages. Or you can check out my project website, meowzig.se, where you can listen to and watch more examples of growling and other cat sounds. Thanks for watching Cat Sounds Explained by Cat Lady Sweden.